Zeb Wells' Spider-Man has been a complete disaster on every single level. Uh, it's been pretty wild. I, I can't believe it's really gone on for this long, and yet they keep pushing it. Uh, thankfully, it is actually coming to an end. After this next arc, they have confirmed that it's finally over, that he's going to be off the book. And there was much rejoicing on that level. But I don't know that it's going to get any better because they've got the same editor, uh, Nick Lowe, who, who has overseen a lot of train wrecks in recent years for Amazing Spider-Man. It seems really easy to fix things. Uh, all you got to do is do what Jonathan Hickman set up with his Ultimate Universe is have Peter and MJ married. It, it seems simple. It's <laughs> You just undo one more day. You have Peter go on an adventure and... And be like, hey, something's been wrong with the world for a while. Maybe have Doctor Strange tell him that, you know, tie in the two Ditko characters together. Look at this. I can write a better Spider-Man story than anybody's done in the last 20 years. Uh, and then with this, I'm going to do it just like spitball it live. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, as anybody, uh, as they, they go through things, uh, you can tie things in uh, to a couple different storylines and, uh, and say that there was a... Uh, a problem with the how the Spider Verse all, all unraveled uh, and created all this, and, and this was all due to uh, this Mephisto tink tinkering with time. Uh, and as you, as you get into this, you have Peter doing a, a knockdown, drag out like a willpower sort of situation with Mephisto. Tie it back to that uh, old school classic scene where he was uh, underwater, you know, pull, you know, just uh, and he's he's going to do it for Aunt May because he can't die here, uh, like in 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 that. Uh, and then have him outwill the devil uh, and uh, and say no and reject him and say, I, I'm going to go back with my sacred vows. Uh, I'm going to choose love and have, have Mephisto just like, oh, no, <laughs> like it'll be beautiful. Uh, so that's it. That's my pitch for my Amazing Spider-Man run. Uh, and if you uh, if you like that idea, like I said, I just came up with that off the top of my head. Pretty easy. I've got amazing comic books right now. This is The Hidden Emperor. Uh, this is my graphic novel right now on Kickstarter, and uh, we've been producing comics for a while. This is my 13th, I think, uh, graphic novel uh, that we're coming out with. Uh, we've been uh, just really crushing it. Uh, and it's because of uh, the fact that I, I'm good at coming up with stories, and I, I write beautiful stories with classic action adventure and heroism, stuff that you used to get in Marvel Comics and can't anymore. The stuff from like the 70s, from the 80s, and the Jim Shooter era, you would love uh, this, absolutely. So check it out. It's in the description below. We hit $30,000 yesterday. Thanks so much for the tremendous support. Uh, comic readers like you are making our career happen, and I appreciate you for being here. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Uh, in my article this morning, I, I went over just like the history of all all the complete train wrecks that Spider-Man has had over the years. It started with this, uh, where the first the first cucking of Peter Parker, where it was revealed in J. Michael Straczynski's run that uh, Gwen Stacy uh, banged Norman Osborn, went off to Europe, had some babies with him, and these babies uh, are uh, now like uh, mega grown quickly because of the goblin serum or something, and they hate Peter Parker for it, so they're going to try to kill him. Uh, terrible storyline. It just it ruined Gwen Stacy, turned her into a whore, made Peter Parker into a cuck, uh, and a disaster. Of course, after that, there was one more day, which, which was even worse, which is with the storyline I just uh, said that really needed undoing. Um, and if, again, you just do that, I really think you have a great uh, Spider-Man setting again. People will be happy. People will be happy to read. Uh, then it got really weird. Uh, so uh, after one more day, they did a brand new day. So Peter Parker magically, it was so insulting. Like the, the way it was all done was it was more insulting than even the storyline itself where Peter makes a deal with the devil in order to remove his marriage. Uh, in the very first issue in brand new day after that, uh, he's making out with a girl in a club like page one who's not Mary Jane. It's like way to really, and, and when I saw that image, I was like, I hate Marvel. I'm done. I'm not collecting this shit anymore. Uh, that was the dumbest thing they could have ever done. Uh, and then they spent years telling worthless stories uh, in that setting before Dan Slott took it over and had Otto Octavius take over Peter's mind. Now, uh, interesting story. And, uh, you know, if that would have gone for six issues or whatever, I don't think anybody would have cared. Uh, but, it, but because it went on so long, it looked like they weren't going to bring Peter back. And, and uh, you know, that was done intentionally to stir up controversy. The problem with these guys is they like to stir up this kind of controversy, get people mad to talk about these things, because that's their, like, way of marketing. They actually try to outrage you for marketing at Marvel. It's super cynical. 
Uh, but that's how they do things with their stories. They don't just go, I've got a great story that you're actually going to love about Peter Parker. They go, actually, you're going to hate this, Spider fans. <laughs> now we're, now we're going to have Dr. Octopus in Peter's body, like, kind of bang MJ in some weird mind rape kind of situation. <laughs> cool. Uh, and so that got really cringy on that level. Now, when Zeb Wells started things, it's gone along for a while. It, uh, he's, he uh, brought Spider-Man with an all-new collectible number one uh, and immediately revealed that Mary Jane had a couple of children with this doofus uh, right here. And uh, this guy's named Paul, uh, and he's from another dimension. And, and uh, it, it turns out later, I mean, gosh, it was like 20, 30 issues later, they revealed that was not actually Mary Jane's kids. She just loves Paul, so she's helping watch them. Uh, very cringy. And so they, they did this intentionally, again, just to piss people off and just to be like, screw you people who actually liked Mary Jane and Peter Married. Uh, we're going to come back and, and hit you even harder. Uh, as it goes along, it gets cringier because they actually turned Mary Jane into a superhero. Now, this is done, obviously, by Greg Land. You could tell he he traces uh, pornography and actually <laughs> actually uh, makes those faces out there. Uh, ridiculous stuff. Uh, but, like, Jackpot, the superhero, it's so cringy. Again, never should happen. This is the worst of fan fiction. This, this, any editor w within their right minds should just say no to this kind of thing immediately. Uh, nobody wants this. Nobody asked for this. Mary Jane doesn't need to be a strong female lead. Uh, she's Peter Parker's damsel in distress. Stop it. Okay? Um, and so uh, the recent issue, as Zeb Wells is about to end things here, <laughs> we get this scene where Mary Jane's like, thanks for coming over for dinner, Peter. He goes, are you kidding, MJ? Paul's chicken korma is always worth the trip. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He's like unbuttoning his shirt as this is going on. It makes it look like <laughs> there's like this thruple situation going on. It's so cringy. And they did this intentionally. Don't don't tell me they didn't do this intentionally. We know they did. So Paul goes, want to take some with you? No, nah, I'll figure I'll swing home and see if I spot any trouble. Never a night off. <laughs> enjoy, uh, enjoy my wife's boyfriend. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know me, fighting crime is a passion and responsibility, I've heard. Get home safe, we'll see. Here we are. Speaking of responsibilities, I've got an early morning. Still working on your way down the list? Okay, I've got some shopping to do in the West Village. Let's call it a night. So I guess, I mean, the implication here is actually Peter banged her real quick uh, while, while eating Paul's chicken. <laughs> So I'm not sure who's the actual cuck in this situation. I mean, at the very beginning, it's obviously Peter who gets cucked, but it's like it's like a reverse cuck, uh, cuck fest. <laughs> the amazing, the cucktacular Spider-Man, right? <laughs> Crazy. Um, so uh, interesting stuff. Uh, his man bun's ridiculous. The new man who, who replaces Peter. Uh, you know, he's he's even uh, cringier than you could have asked for. Now, uh, you go onto Reddit real quick. And, uh, and some people came up with an observation about this, uh, that uh, Paul is just Zeb Wells, but with darker hair and glasses. <laughs> yeah, he is. Look, he's got the same beard and everything. It's, it's absolutely true. So you, you start to look at this and you go, oh, this guy's just a self-insert. So what Zeb Wells did was literally uh, have uh, Paul, uh, this Paul show up, uh, make it into himself to bang Mary Jane uh, while Peter watches. I mean, what an insult to fans at this point. Uh, this is crazy. Um, so somebody says facial hair styling, not much else. Skin tone and smirking smile too. Uh, very, very funny, uh, stuff right here and noticing by Reddit. But this is just like insult to injury of, of all things done as Peter's eating Paul's chicken before running out to spider and be Spider-Man while Mary Jane's with this guy. Yikes. I can't wait for this to run to end. I, I told Marvel how to fix it. They should just hire me and, and they'd solve a lot of things, obviously. Uh, very sad to watch, but they never will because they're a bun they're blacklist uh, conservatives, as we know, uh, and this is what they want. They want the fans outraged. They want the fans to hate this. They want Spider-Man to be like a humiliation fetish. Uh, it's really sad to watch. So if you like good storytelling and not this stuff, please back the Hidden Emperor on Kickstarter. Really appreciate you guys for being there. Hit the like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Is that is that Zeb Wells? <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't make this stuff up.